Hey, Sangres from the Hidden Levels here with the video preview of Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. Alright, so this is the long-awaited sequel of Pac-Man Championship Edition that came out like uh, four or five years ago. Uh, developed and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. It cost uh, $12.99 uh, US dollars, uh, released on September 13th, 2016. And uh, I'm previewing this on the Xbox One version. So I played a little bit. I wanted to unlock some of the, uh, unlock the stuff before so I can show you all of the moves and uh, what's there. So you have the, let me just go through the menu. So you got tutorial, uh, score attack, adventure and options let's look quickly look at the options how to play controls um, settings settings you got vibration on or off you can change the brightness you can adjust the volume here and that's all uh, tutorial is going to show you how to do all the stuff there's some new stuff to uh, how this game works. This is a little bit different from your traditional Pac-Man. It's a little bit different from your um, Pac-Man Championship Edition 1. So I haven't done these tutorials but it tells you um, how to do well and how to get a lot of points. So you do want to go through the tutorial make sure you understand how this works. Uh, let me go through some of the stuff in the score attack and so, some of the stuff in the adventure and then uh, some achievements and I'll end the preview there so score attack is the main meat of the mode is basically two modes score attack or adventure so score attack uh, you'll understand what I mean when I mean when I start playing the game but they're single chain it means just one ghost Regular means four ghosts. Extreme is extreme. It's got like crazy shit going on. Ghosts are very strong. Uh, ghosts are very angry after just one touch. Uh, as you know, in Pac Man games, if you touch a ghost, you die. But in this one, you can touch a ghost up to three times. It's in, but in extreme, you can touch only once. They become angry right after that. And if you touch it while they're angry, you're dead. So it's a little bit different. And in the extreme, you don't have any uh, extra lives. Okay, so... So... The bottom row is all single train. Uh, second row is regular. Third row is extreme. Fourth row is the practice. Just practice your stuff. And then... Uh, so you got jumping. This is like portals. A lot of portals on the map. Hexagon. It's a little bit of a complicated map style. Highway map is like totally open. You can see on the bottom right, left there. Dungeon, kind of like you know, uh, north, south, west, east kind of dungeon like you find in a you know classic Zelda games. Mountain, a lot looks like it's a climbing area kind of stuff. Manhattan. Kind of like a um, skyscraper, junction, a lot of, a lot of turns you can take in this and then championship one. This is your classic uh, map from the previous game. Spiral it is uh, that sort of map. So you got a lot of different style of map. I'm going to show you a regular, uh, let's do a championship too because this is the main mode of this new game. All right. So when when you begin uh, any map, you'll be given a choice. Uh, you can select some of these stuff. I'm gonna leave everything to uh, be, uh, auto. You start, and you will immediately notice this a little bit different. Uh, there's some sleeping ghost there. There's a main uh, red ghost. So you eat all that, and you get you get bombs when you clear the map. You eat all the dots. Okay, there's a portal here. You saw the map on um, the next one over. It has a lot more portals than this. 
So you get the fruit. This is similar to what you did in Championship One. You eat the fruit and you move on to the next round. But you can see the ghosts kind of the as I wake up these ghosts, they start trailing, and we get a power power pallet. And we have to eat the front leading ghost. So follow see where they are heading and then eat the leading ghost and that will let you move on so we just keep doing this i haven't been able to score high enough for the s rank yet uh, best i've done is a rank see if some uh make that ghost angry there so if you if i touch that ghost i would have been killed I can touch like a few times before they become angry. Of course, it's better to just not make them angry if possible. Oh shit, I died. So you can eat the ones that are sleeping right now once you eat the power pallet. But what I found is best if you can make them go into the train and eat them like this in a uh, train attack to get maximum score. So you do want to try and make them up. You just gotta one up. Sometimes a one up will show up like that. Oh, and I need to show you what a bomb does too. So what? does a bomb do okay say so we are here we want to just jump and then you, that's what a bomb does it uh, teleports you right back to the beginning of the level so you can just collect the fruit and move on if you feel like that's totally up to you if you want to save the bomb and you want to use it for later um, it's your choice you need to be very strategic in this game for high scores. I try to wake up as many ghosts as possible. The long train is good for high score, but the problem is it's very difficult to eat that. Okay, it's a moving pallet now. It runs away from you. So you want to quickly catch it and eat it or you can tr you can try to trick it ah this is so frustrating sometimes it depends on some of the maps but yeah i actually didn't even get to finish eating that so you got five minutes to get good score um, I only I only have about 30 seconds left here. Yep, very frustrating. Sometimes you can see that there's only one way to go, and that's good. But sometimes there's so many different ways to the boost can go that it becomes very difficult to eat it. And that's it. I got 2.8 million. This is probably a B score. I don't think it'll get up to A. I think I needed 3 million for the A. So at the end, you get um get the result screen. You get like how many points you got from these things. 
and that's it that's how you play and once you play the one of the moves and you get at least a d rank it opens up the one like above to the right to the bottom uh, things like that so i only i play up to here and the reason <laughs> is because i uh getting a um Dungeon regular D rank or higher was a requirement for opening up the adventure mode and I wanted to show you the adventure mode So I, I haven't played adventure mode at all except for just trying this first level uh, basically you get normal hard pro difficulties and You have to do these things in order to get the you have to do whatever is required to get the uh, stars. Let's try hard mode. So you got eight seconds to eat the fruit six times. You know from the pr from what I showed you in the score attack, you have to eat these uh, dots in order for the fruit to show. So for this one, I'm gonna get a power pallet. I have to be very quick to kill these guys because I want to eat the fruit is the main goal I don't care about killing these guys to be honest the time requirement is pretty tight Another pallet. Very good. Only got nine seconds left here. Yes. Done. Yeah, I got six apples and finished the adventure mode. Got two stars. I can challenge the even more difficult pro mode for the third star, or I can move on to the next level. Uh, let's see what one two brings us. And see, same puzzle. So uh, let's let me just quickly look and see if I can. This must be a boss battle. It requires 10 stars. I need uh, to beat all of the levels uh, with. I guess I can do like four levels with three stars if I felt like. Uh, let's try loading up this one and see what this one is. Mm, that sounds hard. It's only two. I want. I wonder if it's all like this or if there's more variety. Hmm. Yeah, not many, not much variety. Uh, I can't go into area one dash, two dash one without beating this guy. So I can't really show you that. Uh, yep. Um, I think I showed you enough of the game. Uh huh. So, so uh, there's I showed you score attack. I showed you what the tutorial is all about. There's adventure. I showed you the options. Let's quickly look at some achievements. Okay, so I've unlocked a few already. So um, there's the achievement is very simple. Tutorial one, tutorial two, clear all the tutorials. Okay, uh, S rank in single train. A, a, uh, C rank, B rank, A rank, S rank. Uh, same with the regular. Same with extreme. I'll, and then clear some uh, boss areas of adventure. One in the area one, area three, area five, area six. I think this is the final area of the game. So that's all. Uh, so from what I showed you. <laughs> I'm a pretty big fan of Pac-Man. I'm not the greatest player, but I really like Pac-Man games and I've been playing them uh, for a long time. And I can't really get S ranks just yet. So it's pretty challenging if you're thinking about, you know, the easy 100% achievement that was Pac-Man Championship Edition 1. This is not it. 
uh, it's got a lot more content it's got a lot more uh, difficult stuff to do if you if you want more of the pac-man more of that pac-man championship edition goodness this is it this is a fantastic um, game uh, very well done uh, much improved uh, I, I would have been happy if they just changed the maze layouts and uh, gave me the same game uh, Pac-Man Championship Edition 1 or remastered or so, whatever uh, deluxe super deluxe or whatever I would have been happy with that so yeah I'm very happy with this release uh, it's got a lot of contents a lot of different stuff to do uh, to make any uh, Pac-Man fan happy so uh, if you like it please support the developers and uh, thank you for watching my name is sangrius from the hidden levels uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, check us on our website on our youtube uh, youtube twitch and we also have a beam or discord so check us out all the good stuff and i'll be back with more videos very soon